Here's what's on tonight. I'm playing a G harmonica. I am playing a Honer crossover in the key of G. To complicate things very quickly, I was playing the major 6th chord with the added flat 7th of each chord of the 12-bar blues, I think. That was the major 6th chord with the added flat 7th of the 1 and the 4 chords. For the 5 chord, I played just the triad with the octave above it. Anyway, let's break that sucker down. This is going to go quick, so get your rewind button ready. Starting on the 2 draw, 3 draw, 4 draw, 5 blow, 5 draw, 5 blow, 4 draw, 3 draw. When I move to the 4 chord, I'm playing the 1 blow, the 2 blow, the 3 blow, the 3 draw bent down a whole step, releasing it to the 3 draw bent down a half step, back down to the 3 draw bent a whole step, to the 2 draw, to the 2 blow, and then to the 1 blow and repeat that. And then when you get down to the 2 blow, you're going back to the 2 draw to start the 1 chord again. So I'll play it for you. Back to the 1 chord. The 5 chord, it's a little trickier. I started on the 1 draw, and then I went to the 2 draw, bent a half step. Sometimes, if that note is tough for you to hit, I like to hit the 2-draw bent a whole step and then just pull it up a little bit so you get a I played at the beginning of the video, I played the 1-draw, 2-draw bent a half step, 3-draw bent a whole step, followed by the 4-draw. You guys know I tongue block everything I play. So I'm getting that tongue slapping sound, popping my tongue off the harp in between almost every note I play. That's just how I play, man. I just love that sound. I just find it adds so much backbone to the music. Especially in second position when the draw chord is your home bass. It's just, it's just that. Lip purse it. I don't know how. If you find it surprising, I always have my tongue on the harp, man. I find it surprising you don't always have your tongue on the harp. I don't know how you find your way in the dark like that. I use my tongue like my eyes, man. I don't know how you do it. But yeah, I've heard guys fake it, man. I've heard guys fake the, the lipping. I can't tell the difference. The only thing I will say is that I think a tongue block takes a lot less effort, especially when you get up into the higher holes and you're bouncing on the four and the five. I don't know, man. Just my thoughts. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching my stuff and all your wonderful comments. You're a huge inspiration to me. Peace.